To change chords in polyphonic audio, you simply move specific notes to different pitches. However, you need to take care of the octaves as well. So, this is what today's table is about, how to do that quickly and efficiently. If you want to change certain pitches throughout the whole song, for example, if you want to change the key of your song, the quickest way is to select a note of a certain pitch, then right-click and choose Select Notes in all octaves. Of course, you can also use the Command key to select two or more different pitches first, and then use the corresponding octave command. At this point, you should make sure that the cycle is not activated, because otherwise your selection would be limited to a particular passage. This, on the other hand, is exactly what you would want to do if you would work on, say, the last chorus only. If you only want to select notes and their octaves for a single chord, first select the corresponding note or a small number of notes, then press Shift and Slash so that the cycle spans exactly the selected notes, then right-click to select the octaves. Your computer may have different shortcuts to the ones that I used here, so to quickly check this go to Preferences, and Keyboard Shortcuts and type in the word Cycle and see what you get. For example, if you have been working with a set of shortcuts based on a particular door, you may have a different shortcut. But of course, you can easily change this here. Okay, hope you've learned something new from this video. Thanks for watching.